Hello, so um, today I'm going to show how to use the circular pattern tool. Um, I'm going to start by making a sketch on the, on the front plane. I'm going to hit N to square that up. I'm going to hit P to make the planes disappear. And I'm just going to draw a circle. All right, so there we go. Then I'm going to extrude that circle. And, you know, so however you want to extrude it, it's fine. All right, so there's my basic object that I'm using. And the key thing is I've got a circle on here. If you're trying to, and I'm going to use this circle to reference. So now if I start a sketch and I draw a second part, I can draw any part I want. I can do complicated things like sweeps and, you know, and this little dotted line is very helpful. It gets me right over the center. Actually, I'm going to use the, uh, the center point rectangle because then it draws right from the center. So that I can get right on the center. So you see that center point is perfect. I can finish that and then I can extrude that or I can cut that. I can I can make that anything I want. Okay, so there's the idea. So, um, yeah, so now that little peg, let's say I want to pattern that peg all the way around in a circle. All right, well, I can do that. So how you do that is you go up to this tool right here, the pattern. This is the pattern tool. That's the linear pattern. If you pull down, you can go um, circular pattern tool. So if you click on that, and it says entities to pattern. Now here's the biggest mistake. Um, right now it's saying part. It wants to do this entire part, both the circle and the rectangle. I only want to pattern the rectangle. So I got to pull this menu down and say feature. And then the feature that I want is this one right here. And it's easier to go over here on the feature tree and kind of click on it. There's feature number two, extrude number two. And then it wants to know what's my pattern, what circle do I want to follow? Since I already have this circle, it's here. If you want to pattern something that, you know, like in a square or something, you might have to go to a different tutorial and look at how I do that. But So I just click on that, and then I click on this circle here, and then um, look at that. I get um, I get four of these. So if I want more, like I want to make like a clock, I can make 12. Uh, if I want to have less, I can say eight. And then how many, the angle, I could say like 180 degrees. Um, I can actually specify like how many I can get to go. Um, and I can center it. And there's things, I don't know, I can kind of play around with this. Uh, but I want 360, I want the full circle. And I want eight of them. And then I go like that, and there you go. I've got the peg. Um, and you can do all sorts of things. You can, you can pattern holes, you can pattern sweeps, you can pattern anything. But the key thing is that you have a circle to reference around. Um, so, yeah, that's my video. Enjoy. Good luck.